My name is Dante Gagne, and welcome back to the Connect Learn series on Universal Windows Platform Application Development. Now, if you were with us for the first video, you have Visual Studio installed on your machine, and you've got the Universal Windows Application Tools installed on your box. In this video, we're going to go ahead and create our first new project, and I want to go over some of the details on how to set that up, and then I'm going to give you a tour of both Visual Studio and Blend to give you an idea of the environment we're going to be working with. I'm going to go ahead and click on New Project here, and right off the bat, I can choose which type of project I want to work with. The blank app is the one you're going to want to work with if you're working with Universal Windows applications. Now you can see on the left, I have Visual C Sharp selected as that's the language I'm most comfortable with. But if you want to work with other languages, you can drop down the Other Languages box. Say you're a Visual Basic person, I can click on that one, select Windows, and Blank App is available there. Now, as I said, I'm a little more comfortable with C Sharp, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Windows, the Blank App, name my application, and press OK. At this point, Visual Studio is creating all the files necessary for creating a universal Windows application. It just takes a moment and everything will get it set up. All right, Visual Studio has created my first app for me. It took a moment or two, but now it's open and I've got my design surface. Let's take a look at Visual Studio and look at the various pieces so you understand the environment we're going to be working with. Now, right in the center, you have your design surface. This is the piece that gives you an idea of what your application is going to look like. Down below, you've got your XAML, and you know it's easy enough to go ahead and switch whichever one I want to work with, so I'll give myself a little bit more room. Over on the top right is your Solution Explorer. This is where you can go to see all the files that are involved in your project. Now, as you probably have already guessed, the Universal Windows Platform has more than just the XAML document in order to create your project. So you have your XAML document, which I can expand here and find the code behind. All of the pieces that you need are already available. Visual Studio will also create an assets folder for you, so this will have some placeholders for things like what your lock screen is going to look like, what your splash screen, and so on. To begin with, all of these files are just simple rectangles, kind of placeholders, so you want to replace these before you're ready to deploy to the store and get your application out there for people to start using, but the files are there, and this is where you're going to want to put them. I'm going to switch over here and move from Visual Studio over to Blend. Now, I could launch Blend normally, and I could go ahead and open my project, but it's actually just a little bit easier to right-click my XAML document and choose Design in Blend. As soon as I do this, Visual Studio will launch Blend for me. It'll go ahead and open my document, and the whole process is taken care of seamlessly. And here we are in Blend. Some of the same windows are available. You'll notice the Solution Explorer is still here, but it's over on the left. But this one also has the Objects and Timeline up by default, where I can see all of the elements that are in my document. Now, the XAML view is still available here. I just need to click the tab over, and everything is here. So right now, you may be asking yourself, what's the difference between the two tools? I'll be showing you in the next videos some of the areas where the design surface is a little bit more comfortable over in Blend. But again, it's all up to you which side you think is more comfortable. Now we've got Visual Studio and Blend running, and we've got our first project created. In the next video, we're going to start actually creating our XAML, and we're going to start doing just a little bit of application development. We'll see you then.